Hi and welcome to my Nissan 350Z. Now, this video is brought to you by CarHuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And rather fittingly, this morning, I'm a bit late to the show that I'm on my way to because I didn't know what to do today. As you might be able to tell, it's raining. Uh, we are currently in a storm. I think it's called Storm Carol or something like that. And I really didn't know if there were any events on today. So I hopped onto CarHuddle.com and I found two classic car shows. So we are heading to one of those called the Black Swan. One classic car meet um, hosted at the Black Swan, funnily enough, which is down in Cobham, fairly near the location of Bites where German versus Japanese is held. Uh, so, we're going to head down there and see how many cars actually turn up in this storm. It's not a thunderstorm, it's just a bit moist and very windy. Very, very windy. There's twigs on the floor, and apparently that causes a scene. So, we're going to be careful on the way there. Karen doesn't get us. I hope Cal. Cal Hope Cal doesn't catch us out. So if ever you want to attend a car show and you don't really know what's on earth, fall and twig, uh, you can head over to carhuddle.com and search events by date, by location, by type of event, whether it be a classic car meet, a modified car meet, or even supercars. Um, all the car shows around the country and the world can be added to Car Huddle. If you want to add your own event, you can do that too. It's very simple, create an account and just add your event for all to see. It's just a great way of advertising, publicizing your event. So uh, that's pretty much how I find out about all the events that I go to because I get asked that question a lot. It goes to show even on a miserable day like today, people still like bringing their cars out and showing them off. Don't know why. It's a bit of a unique thing to the UK because other countries don't really have this. They maybe have a few shows in the summer, but it's only in recent years that I've discovered all these smaller meets around the country, mainly in the south of England is where they seem to be held, which is lucky because that's where I live. So hopefully in a little bit we'll be able to see how many people have chanced old Carol the Storm in their classic cars. Oh, look at the Volvos! <laughs> so, there's about six cars here. Let's have a look around and then see what else might be on. So, most people seem to have brought their daily cars along, although there is a lovely Porsche 356 next to two Mazda MX-5s, a Mark 2.5 and a Mark 3.5, and a cutesy little Fiat 500. We've got a Ford Cortina and a Jaguar XKR, much like the one in James Bond, except minus some of the guns. And around here, a couple of Volvo wagons. These are my favourites. So we're just having a little look around this uh, Volvo with its spotlights on the front. Apparently OnlyFans bought this. Is that true? Are you on OnlyFans? Do you show a bit of nipple? And here is the unit. Oh, there we go. It is turbocharged. This is why we like Volvos. And alongside this camper we've got more arrivals. And in the meantime some of the cars have had enough of the rain. So, it's a little bit cold and the turnout wasn't as good normally. The whole car park and the overflow field are full up here apparently. We had a little word of the marshals and it's actually quite a good event. So I think next month I'll come back down here. So these events are all on carhuddle.com and I'm about to have another look to see the information about the other show that I found. Apparently it's, it's only kind of down the road. Whether the turnout will be any better, I don't know. So here is this meet, the Black Swan meet that we entered today. So there we are. Lovely. All right, let's go back. So it is the bag shop breakfast meet that we're heading to, so I shall set the sat nav up and uh, head over there. Oh no, we've picked up a Focus ST. So we're just approaching Pine Ridge Golf Club now for another meet. Your destination will be on the left. There we go, the destination is on the left. Oh my god, there's an Aston Martin with a number plate that kind of spells boobies. Boobies! 
So even though it's fairly quiet, it's still busier than the previous meet. We've got the Boobies Aston Martin DBS Volante in front of us and an Alfa Romeo 4C over here. So it's not just classics. We've also got a bug-eyed Subaru. A nice reflection on the ground. This Monte Carlo looks absolutely astonishing. I, I do like that a lot with it. It's tyre writing and it's for sale. And around the side from that is Smithy's Volvo from Gavin and Stacey, as well as a few more classics over here. Got a Mark 1 Golf as well, next to a split screen camper van. I see this one at quite a few events with its smoothed front end. He has removed the Volkswagen badge for this clean look and front plate delete and a bit of low. And of course, the Ford corner over here, the Fiesta has got a Nando's chicken on its aerial. But as I said earlier, this is kind of what we do in the country. We get our classics out and we go into the golf club for some coffee and a chat. We have car meetings in a storm. I mean, it's not that windy at the moment. Ah, oh, this golf has had an unfortunate incident here. And yet more at the back here, including this console and the rover next to it with a Viking on the bonnet. And check out this little Austin with its original paintwork. And I've just done a bit of um, digging and realization, and that Volvo that we saw that was resembling Smithy's from Gavin and Stacey is the actual one from Gavin and Stacey. Here it is. The owners are sat inside at the moment, so it's a bit awkward filming it, but that is the genuine Volvo that Smithy drove on Gavin and Stacey, same number plate and all. Smithy's Volvo, Shipman Motor Group on the number plate as well. If your husband won't do it, I will. <laughs> Some of the Ford lots are leaving now. So there goes Smithy. If you are not from the UK and you don't know anything about Gavin and Stacey, Smithy is Gavin's friend from the popular TV programme Gavin and Stacey, and that is his car that he does his labouring in. That is the genuine car that was used for filming in the series. And that is all that has turned up at the Pine Ridge Golf Club meet today as well, so I feel like <laughs> We need a little bit more. So, back in the car, back onto Car Huddle, and time to see what other meets are on today. Oh. So, having a look on carhuddle.com, there is another meet today. However, it's at 6 p.m. It's currently 10.50, so we've got a bit of waiting to do, but we are gonna probably head down to Ace Cafe to see some AMG Mercedes at a car meet. So that should be quite cool. So you now join me um, in a BMW, a bit of change of scenery, and now it is dark, the sun has gone down, but we are just approaching Ace Cafe for the Team AMG meet that I found on Car Huddle. So all of the worthwhile Ace Cafe events are posted up on carhuddle.com. Um, every week I post up my favorites for that week. So all the worthwhile shows are there for you to see. So we're going to see how busy this meet is, despite the storm. It has been very windy, very rainy, but I'm looking forward to seeing what cars turn up. So let's see how many AMGs. I believe that black one is one of the new CL AMGs. There's a few cars trying to get in. Actually, looks quite busy. There's a few cars scattered everywhere. That car wants to get in, it seems. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good tonight. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good meet. So from what I could see, the meet was huge. Tons of AMGs, apparently it filled up before it even started, so that's got to be good. I'm mean, just about to go past a Volkswagen Golf in a Marlboro livery. Not an AMG, but still cool. So here we are, we've seen a Golf Golf before, and here is a Marlboro Golf. I love a livery, and a Slams 1 Series in front of it, and an A45 AMG, with a few others behind that. Cars are parked up there as well, we're not even round to the cafe yet. There's a matte green A45 over there. Oh my god! Look at this! It's one of those massive ML things in chrome turquoise. That looks fantastic! It's a GL, my bad, a GL63 in chrome turquoise. And some C63s are in. Right at the front is an SL63 F1 pace car, even with the sirens on the top, and a lovely yellow G Wang on there. That's not an AMG. Nor is the 812 Superfast in front of it. It's random. Oh, just one sec. Here we go. Ferrari. Green 
trim on his wheels. I mean, in a separate video, I'll probably capture these cars leaving, but for now, that was my day using Car Huddle to scout around the shows in the area in the pouring rain, which luckily now has stopped. So, I hope you enjoy that video. Check out carhuddle.com, that's why I upload all of these meets so you can attend yourself, create an account, post your own events as well onto the website for others to see. So, hope you enjoy the video, but for now, thanks for watching. Oh, so maybe the storm did take a victim, RIP. Ouchie. That's gonna need a, a new windscreen, that. Well, at least it's one way to slam your McGann. Rest in pieces.